welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Jessica. And I'm Jennifer. And before we talk about anything, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit the red button. Hit now. the red button and subscribe. We have lots of videos coming up. Hair videos, beauty videos, lifestyle, lifestyle videos. And we want you guys to come along with us. So hit the red button and subscribe. Yeah. So today I'm going to be talking all about dry scalps and dandruff. And this is a major thing people go through with all kinds of hair, natural hair, relaxed hair. And we've gone through this recently as well. And we're just going to leave the remedies that worked for us. Yes. A couple of years ago, I really struggled with dry scalp and dandruff. And this was when I tried to transition from relaxed hair to natural hair. My scalp became so, so dry. dry. So I had to find remedies and products and things that really helped to ease my scalp around the time. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Yeah. So first of all, the reasons why people most people get dry scalp is sometimes it's climate issues. Like if you live in a really hot city or you live in a really cold city, it could affect your scalp and your hair. And also sometimes it's the products that you use, like your shampoo. And this is a really big point because sometimes you use shampoos that are so drying. I had a really bad instance using a drying shampoo that was recommended to me. And the lady said it really helps with hair growth. But <laughs> once I used it, my hair felt crispy, like mm -hmm. a desert. Like it was so dry. And I just stayed clear of shampoos like that. So you have to be careful because they strip your hair of all its natural oils and your hair starts to flake up and become so dry. Yeah. So be mindful of the shampoos you use and um, sometimes a good option is not to shampoo too much and just use a dry shampoo. Yeah. You know, I tend to shampoo once in every 10 days. You know, if I really feel like I want to wash, I do a co-wash instead and I just use a dry shampoo and spray it on my scalp yeah. and you know, the one we use is... It's the Argon by um, Argon from Morocco dry shampoo. Yeah, and we'll just put it in the description box down below so you can get a link to get it. But it's really good. Yeah, so literally, you feel like you have clean scalp in like five seconds <laughs> just spraying it on. Yeah. yeah. So the next tip I'll talk about that she just mentioned is co washing. So rather than shampooing your hair, you can actually just co wash your hair. So it, this just allows your hair to retain moisture, moisture rather than stripping all the moisture from your hair and also opting for a, an anti-dandruff shampoo rather than your regular shampoo. Around the time I experienced a lot of dandruff in my hair, I started using Head & Shoulder. Everyone knows about Head & Shoulder <laughs> and it really worked for me and you can just check out other brands that do um, anti-dandruff shampoos. This will really help reduce the dandruff. Another tip that correlates is deep conditioning and we talk about this so much, This I give credit to this so much for how my hair is now, but deep conditioning not only strengthens your hair but it moisturizes your hair. Yeah. So I would suggest deep conditioning, try and elongate the period which you leave the conditioner for. Some people even deep condition overnight, but this literally puts the moisture into your hair, it retains the moisture and your hair doesn't feel as weak and you know dry as it usually would when you're suffering from dry scalp or dandruff. So another tip is hot oil treatments. I mean, we've been talking about hot oil treatments lately. It really helps and I usually do this regularly, even before I dip condition my hair. It's basically just getting essential oils and heating it up. I think we've done that in a, a previous video. We'll put this video in the description box down below. But basically heating up the oils and applying it into your scalp, you can use an applicator bottle. Mm -hmm. And when you're doing this, make sure you pick essential oils that help to relieve itchiness in your scalp. So using peppermint oil, using tea tree oil, these oils are really going to help get into your scalp and ease off the itchiness and ease off the dandruff as well. Yeah, I would so. suggest mixing it with the carrier oil yeah. because it's really strong, the oils are strong on their own. So mix it with either coconut oil or castor oil, olive oil or olive oil and just put a few drops. We typically, typically put like maybe 12 to 24 drops of either tea tree or peppermint and we put it in an applicator bottle with the carrier oil, heat it up and you know put it in your hair, try and retain as much heat as possible so it penetrates yeah. and moisturizes. A steamer or a shower cap yeah. on your hair so that it literally can penetrate into your scalp. So the next treatment tip I'm going to give is baking soda. You know baking soda is actually a disinfectant and it helps to clean the scalp. So making a paste with baking soda with about two tablespoons and just a little bit of water. You can put oil on your scalp and you just lay the baking soda on your scalp. You can massage it into your scalp but just leave it on there for five to ten minutes. And this really helps. It helps to ease your, your scalp of the itchiness, but it also helps to get rid of the dandruff. 
The next remedy I'm going to give is aloe vera and this has become so popular recently, people putting aloe vera on their hair. We actually have the aloe vera that is in the top but I will recommend the aloe vera that is actually the plant based one, the raw aloe vera. Yeah. And putting this on your hair it relieves itching because so many times when we have the dry scalp and dandruff we're itching and our scalp is inflamed. Yeah. But the, the aloe vera relieves itching and it also releases moisture into the hair. So putting aloe vera on your scalp, the, the natural one, and try and get aloe vera juice out of the big plants or try and get it in liquid form so that way it's easy to put onto your scalp. But yeah. that really helps with the dry scalp and dandruff. So another tip is apple cider vinegar. Now this one is a bit controversial because I've heard a lot of relaxed hair girls say that this didn't work for them and it really dried out their yes. scalp even further. And I know a lot of natural hair girls have said that this works for them. So I think this is something you have to try and see if it works for you. You know, everybody's hair is different and relaxed hair is different from natural hair. So I think you have to try this one and see, but it has been recommended, but I just don't, haven't seen it work properly for a relaxed hair girl. I think we should try a video on that. Yeah, maybe we'll, probably we'll have try, to try a video and let you guys know how it works for us. Yeah. So you can see what you know you want to try it out. Yeah. So the very last remedy is diet, and diet is one of the factors why you might be having like dry skin or dry scalp. And the reason why is because it's an inside job most of the time. Whatever is happening with your body is mostly an inside job. So once you take care of the insides, then you can actually take care of the outside. So before you even apply any product, to buy any products to help with your dry scalp or dandruff, make sure you're drinking lots of water. water. Like this is the best way to actually get moisture into your skin from the head down to your feet. You know, mm -hmm. your whole body, it needs moisture and runs on moisture. So try and drink as much water and make sure your diet is actually Actually quite helpful and yeah. helpful to your skin, your hair, your body. Yeah. So these are our tips for getting rid of dandruff or just having a relief from dry scalp and dandruff. I hope these tips work for you guys. I've been doing these tips and they've been working for me. So comment down below if you have suffered from dry scalp or dandruff. What or you if, did, or if you even have any tips for us. Yeah. So what you did that worked for you. So yeah. just comment down below and don't forget to like this video. Don't forget. To Hit the red button and subscribe. subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye! Bye.